Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to be doing um, another make makeup tutorial. And uh, I already have my brows on. <sighs> they were a struggle this morning. So, if they look uneven, bear with me. Um, I'll fix them up at the end. I'm trying to decide what look I really want to do today. I wanted to do something more of, I was thinking maybe either a more bronzy look and I feel like we see those 50 million times so I'm going to do something fun today. I don't quite know what direction I'm going in. Um, I, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out really soon enough. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's tutorial. Let's see where this goes. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, it is Sunday and it's always the start of a new week. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, share, comment, like for watching. Bye. We're going to start with the eyes first today. So let me bring you in. Okay, so we're going to just coat with NARS Paint. Not a paint pot. NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in I have 1.5 Medium Macadamia. So we're going to go in with that. So we're going to start with blending in um, with the Too Faced palette. Um, it was, I think it's a gold one. Um, it smells like chocolate. But I'll list that in the uh, description box below. I'm just blending in. Now I'm going in with my Morphe palette. Um, and it's the Brights palette. And I was trying to decide what color I want to go and transition with. So I believe I went with, um, and originally I was going to go in with the orange, but I decided to go in with like the peach shade first then orange and then I believe like a reddish which actually came out to look like a strawberry like watermelon look so you'll see that shortly um, after I start blending in these shadows Now that I got that all blended out, I'm packing on, I'm still with the Morphe uh, Brights palette. They have a shimmer shade that's close to, um, that it's like a pinkish shade. Um, and I just added that to the top. It gave me my eyelid a little bit of shimmer. Um, but I didn't want the whole lid and eye to be the same color. So you'll see I'll go in with another Brights palette um, by a different company. And I'm going to add a hot pink into the inner and outer corners. Um, and uh, it'll and as well as some glitter. So this is the Brights palette I was talking about. I did a full review on this palette. Um, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So I'm just packing on um, the glitter, finger blending, of course. I didn't apply any um, sticky base at all, uh, glitter glue. I'm just packing it on um, with my finger and onto the lid. And you'll see it comes out stunning as well as using the hot pink in this palette to the inner and outer corners. Now we're moving on to foundation. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, I've had this foundation for a while. And um, I applied it and I felt like I didn't love it as much as I used to. I usually love it during around the summertime, this time of year, because um, it's more of a drier formula, even though it says Luminous Silk. It gives the appearance of that. However, I feel like it benefits me better in the summertime because I'm a little bit more dewy or oily. Um, you would say do it being hot. But this time around, I just felt like I didn't like the way it sat on my skin. Now, it goes on. It looks beautiful. But I feel like in some drier patches that I had on my forehead, it just picked up. And I never really had that problem with this foundation. So I just think I'm just going to throw this one out. It doesn't smell bad. Um, like I said, I had it for a while, so it might have just expired, and I just need to redo it, um, to repurchase it. So, now I'm going back in with the, um, the other palette, the Brights palette, and I'm packing on the hot pink on the inner and outer corner, like I said, um, and connecting it to give it a little halo look with the glitter in the middle. Um, I was all over the place. I put the foundation on, then I went back to the eyes finish the eyes. I was just all over, but the, at the end, the looks comes out uh, beautiful. So now we're moving along to concealer, and I'm using the um, NARS um, 
pot concealer, the one same one I used to prime my uh, eyelids, and I believe it's macadamia medium. Um, I'll leave that information in the description. I'm just blend that in, finger blend that in. Um, I probably would have brushed my finger blend in. I actually love the coverage of this. I used to just use it for the top um, of my lids, but I actually love it all over. It's a beautiful formula. So now that that's blended, we're finishing up the bottom of um, the lid, going back in with the same colors, um, just to apply to the bottom. I think I just went with the hot pink color from the one I just added uh, to the inner and outer corners from the other Brights palette, not the Morphe one, um, and just trying to finish up the eye. So apparently looking back at this footage, now I see what happened. Um, usually I set my whole entire face, and I don't think that I set my whole entire face. I just put, I just set the bottom of my concealer where my concealer was, and I went over um, the foundation with my bronzer. And I don't normally do that. I used to do that in, back in the day when I first started. But for some reason I did that this time around, and I went in with the Guerlain bronzer um, in number 7 fonts, I believe it is. And here I am just adding on some Mary Bedesto spray um, to hydrate my skin a little bit more. Because I think I was complaining about foundation breaking up at the, on top of my forehead. So apparently now I'm trying to figure out glow products um, to highlight because I just put the Mary Bedesto spray on. I'm trying, between, trying to choose between both of the sleek palettes. Um, I've had them for a while but I've never actually used them. And then here I go with my um, Hourglass palette. I believe I chose one of the sleek palettes. I think it comes in two. It comes in two shades. It comes in Cleopatra, and the other one I can't remember. Um, one's more of a bronzy, um, and then the other one's more of a, like icy. And I wanted with this pink Barbie eye, I wanted um, more of an icy look. So I went with the lighter of the palette, the cream version in one, and then I also went in with the highlighter powder highlighter in the, from the other palette. So I did end up using both sleek pal makeup palettes. And they're both inexpensive. I would think it was buy one, get one 50% off at Ulta. I bought these a while ago, and I bought them on sale um, because I heard about everybody raved about the glow of these products. But here you go. Um, I already said, of course I was doing all the no-nos in this video. I don't know what I was thinking. So now we're going in with the sleek powder, um, and you'll see the glow of this product. It is stunning. It is. I went ham. You'll see me tone it down with my beauty blender because apparently I have no control in this video. Um, and you know, I was just playing this makeup, but I went a little way too ham with this. This is a bright, intense highlighter, and of course here I am adding more and more and more and more because you know more is more. Um, but you'll see I'll have to take it down a notch with my beauty blender. Here we go. Because it was just way too much. But it was a beautiful highlighter. You just can't go crazy with it. So now I'm trying to open up this um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Um, and... It's a wing, I wanted to do, not a wing liner, but I just wanted to do a thin line over my lashes my so that when I put my um, my lash band, so when I put my lashes on, that you won't be able to see my band, but that ended up not working out at all. Um, I didn't like the formula whatsoever. Um, and you know, I think a lot of people raved about this this liner, but I'm sorry, this doesn't compete to my Tom Ford um, wing liner. I, look, I was not impressed. It was just not my jam. I just was not even going to mess with it. It was just not even worth my time. So if you guys have used it before, let me know how you liked it. I just didn't like the formula. It was not, it was too wet and it was too like watery for me. Yeah, let's go.
So now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go back over it because, of course, I got glitter on my lashes. So uh, that's no go. And I'm about to go back in with my Tom Ford eyeliner and just um, go over the band again because I cannot stand glitter on these lashes. It just irritates me. Now with tight lining, um, with this, I believe it's the Ofra, um, black liner. And I'm just tight lining my top line so that you can't see at the bottom where my lashes go in. And then I'm going to go into the waterline with this. I actually really like it. It was nice. It was creamy, even though it was a wooden pencil. Um, it wasn't irritating at all. And it was easy glide on. So now we're just going to go in with a quick blend. Blend everything out. Make sure everything's nice and blended. Um, and then we are almost done. We just got to add lips. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. Um, I wanted to do... I feel like I need more. I don't know what more I need, but it's a nude lip. Um, I did the Madeline gloss but i feel like that's not the color i wanted you know what i mean like when you have bright pink eyes you can't do a whole bunch well i'm either gonna do a dramatic eye or that's it let's see i do have another pink in here but let's see let's see this is by ofra it's called bel air let's see how it looks it's not bad it's pretty It's not bad. It's okay. It's not my favorite lip color, but it's whatever. I'm going to put another little gloss. Now that that is done, this is what I look is. I feel like I need more, though. I don't know what I need. Because I'm not used to doing, like, eyes. I had to fix the liner because... That was bothering me over these lashes. Um, so I did that. Just spritz this. One time. I think I'm going to go in just a tad. I feel like I need a little bit more warmth. I never put blush on. Because I feel like, you know, the eyes are bold. So you don't need blusher. But... I'm gonna use. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I just wanted to light up like a Christmas tree. Is that what it was? Okay. So, this is the final look um, for the color. We did the pink. Barbie pink with glitter. You can never go wrong. Let me hit this inner corner one more time. With all three of these. And then brow bone again. Okay, guys. So. Okay, okay, now we're done. So this is the final look. I hope you guys all enjoyed. It's not mainly like the lip that I wanted, but this is the one we got on here. Um, you know, you can do this color or plain nudie lip. So it's whatever your choices are. I would have did more of like an opaque one that's like more of my skin tone, but couldn't find one right now at this moment. So this is what we got. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's tutorial. Barbie pink look. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Bye.
we get into this glow though. 